Okay, so today we're going to take 15 minutes to do a quick sculpture of your pet or the pet you wish you could have. We did this at the beginning of the school. Um, I have my wood block. I also have some cardboard on my desk just to give extra protection. Um, you have all these tools that you may or may not need today because this is not being graded. This is just me seeing how you approach sculpting so that moving forward I can give you direction. Um, these up here you do not need. I'm showing you these for size, for scale. A lot of students tend to take too much clay, especially in the beginning when learning. So I have my string that's in my packet. I'm going to cut off a piece of clay using my string, kind of like floss. I'm just going to slice down and out. Now that's not a lot of clay, but if I roll this into a ball, it's actually bigger than a golf ball size, a little bit smaller than a lemon. So I would suggest for our very first play with clay before we actually make anything um, is to take a small piece somewhere between a golf ball and a lemon. Now, because you're sculpting today, this is just a fun activity. Um, you may want a little bit more clay closer to a lemon size, right? That's maybe a little bit smaller, closer to an egg. Apple would be way too much, and orange would definitely be way too much. If you use this much clay, this would be actually a quite large, not necessarily sculpture, but if you were to do a vase or some kind of vessel, um, it, this is a lot of clay. Uh, so my advice, at least, especially for beginners, is to start small. So I'm not gonna teach today because I feel like the best way to learn is to make mistakes. So today, I'm just gonna tell you to do your best. I'm gonna show you how I would approach this looking at Cayenne. Um, I have my three different views and because she's rolled up into a ball, it's gonna be almost like the rock paintings that I was doing, where it's a really small piece. And I like to pinch the clay. So for sculpting her face area, I'm just gonna kind of move the clay around, lay this on my board and just try to get that round, so looking at the bottom picture, that round area. And I'm gonna keep this going so that I can post it and you can always skip around. Uh, but you don't have to watch this. This is just so you can see my approach. And now I'm using one of these skewers in my little tool bag just to kind of get in there and kind of carve out where her leg is. Her spine is really bumpy, so I'm just gonna kind of give her a little bit of a spine there. And however you want to do this is up to you. If you want it to be super detailed or very kind of vague. Now her arms are hiding so it's going to look kind of weird. Um, but looking at these angles, I'm starting to kind of get the shape here. You notice I'm constantly looking at the picture. That's where her little tail is. I'm going to pull and pinch that out. Maybe I'll take some clay from underneath just because you won't see that. I'll roll out. She's got a really long skinny tail. Maybe not that long. my fork here. Maybe I'll use the end of the fork. She's a very muscular, actually muscular sort of petite dog.
and she actually has a cauliflower ear from dragging her head on the asphalt because she doesn't like the muzzle or the gentle leader that we now use because she likes to go crazy when she sees other dogs specifically. I'm gonna rotate this, go to the back here. Now I'm not going to be so concerned with the bottom because you're not going to see it.
So for me, the most important thing was just to get the form, the general form in the beginning, where she's got some new clay coming up. Okay, so when you're done or at a stopping point, um, leave it on your board and put it in a safe place somewhere. And we'll come back to this tomorrow and discuss it. Photograph it, put it up on Discord, and whoops, no grading.